There is simply nothing beyond the power of an ordinary district judge these days. Amidst the slew of radical court decisions on immigration, it's quite apparent that if the Trump administration and Congress continue to follow illegal court rulings, the president's claim that DACA is dead is worthless. Judicial amnesty is still alive and well, including the order requiring the administration to renew Obama's illegal amnesty for those who already had the status. But it gets worse. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia, the second most prominent court in the country, has already ruled that illegal alien teenagers have a right to demand full access to abortion. Now, Tanya Chutkin, a judge sitting on the district panel in D.C., granted the entire illegal alien population, present and future, class action certification to demand unfettered access to abortions. Roe v. Wade created a right to murder your baby. Now lower court judges are essentially creating a global right to immigrate and demand the means of murdering their babies. We have become a magnet for drug smuggling, gang activity, and terrorism. Now we have become a sanctuary for the world's abortion industry. In a Friday ruling, Judge Chutkin declared, this court will not sanction any policy or practice that forces vulnerable young women to make such a choice. National sovereignty simply doesn't exist anymore. We are now ruled by the capricious emotions of single forum shop judges. And tragically, their emotions and compassion are completely misplaced. They refuse to recognize how making America a magnet for human smuggling is flooding our country with drugs and gangs which in turn are responsible for the deaths of tens of thousands of Americans from heroin and tens of thousands of Mexicans at the hands of the empowered drug cartels. We will now perforce of abortion tourism by teenage girls who can't get elective abortions in their home countries and will pay the same nefarious actors of the drug cartels to bring them over the border. But putting feelings aside, since when can a judge declare the entire global population eligible for access to abortions? In fact, Chutkin went a step further and made it clear that the government must fully notify teenagers of their right to an abortion. That's right. The courts are now saying that people can unilaterally assert jurisdiction here and demand either citizenship for their children or access to abortion to kill their children, all against the will of the people. Remember, foreign nationals don't have constitutional rights afforded to citizens in America, such as owning a gun and donating to political campaigns. But now the other two branches are sitting silently while the judiciary creates a right for illegal foreign nationals to access an abortion. The courts will continue to rule the roost until the other branches push back. But don't hold your breath waiting for a single congressional hearing over where the courts have such power, much less legislation explicitly limiting their power. Like and share this video on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Don't forget to support this channel by clicking on the donation link down below and subscribing so you never miss any of our trending reports. What do you think about this report? Scroll down to comment below. Now if you are seeking the latest trends in fashion, and electronics and gifts and more at the best prices, Please feel free to visit www.atthismall.com once again that is www.atthismall.com.